Hi, I'm Chad with Move for Guitar. This lesson is from our series Guitar Chords for Beginners. In this lesson, I'm going to show you how to play an open A sus4 chord. First off, if you'd like to get the diagram for this chord, the chord chart, you can click the link on the screen and it'll take you to an e-guide that you can download for free. And this e-guide includes this chord as well as a whole bunch of other beginner chords that are really useful to learn. It has really common beginner chords as well as less common ones. And not only do I show you how to play the chords, give you diagrams for those, but I show you how to put the chords together into chord progressions. So it includes a whole bunch of chord progressions that I have taken from the chords in the e-guide and put them together in sequences so you can see how they go together in a musical situation. And it'll also give you ideas of how to put these chords together into your own chord progressions. So if you'd like to get that e-guide for free, just click the link on the screen and you can download that. So here's an open A sus4 chord. And the fingering for this chord is your first finger on the fourth string, second fret. Your second finger goes down towards the floor to the third string, second fret. And then your third finger goes down towards the floor to the second string, third fret. And with this chord, you're going to want to leave out the sixth string. So there's two ways to do that. The first way is just to avoid hitting the sixth string as you're strumming. But that can be pretty difficult. So if your hands are big enough, you can reach your thumb up and just lightly touch the sixth string with your thumb. And that'll keep it muted out. And that way you can strum through all the strings and not have to worry about hitting that sixth string. But if your hands aren't big enough, you can just keep your thumb wherever it naturally lands if it's lower and you can't reach up and then you're just going to have to avoid hitting that six string and you can hit it a little bit when you're strumming it's not going to really matter it's still going to sound all right it's just if you hit it too much that chord becomes really muddy so it's best to leave it out as much as possible so really the chord is the fifth string down towards the floor to the first string it's the fifth through the first string so that means that the fifth string is open and the first string is open, which just means you let those strings ring out, but you're not fretting anything. You just let those strings ring out, and then obviously you're fretting the other three notes. So it's really important to make sure you're on the tips of your fingers when you're playing this chord so that you're not blocking any of the other strings. You don't want your joint right here to be bent back like that, otherwise you will block out other strings. Keep a nice arch right here in that joint. And with anything you fret on the guitar, you want to be as up towards the front of the fret near the front fret wire. So right here I'm in the third fret with my third finger. I want to be up towards this fret wire. I don't want to be way back here in the fret. Otherwise I'm going to have to put a lot more pressure to keep it from buzzing like that. If I'm up in the fret then it takes a lot less pressure to keep that from buzzing. It's not possible to get your first finger too close to the front fret wire because your second finger is in the way. So you just have to have your first finger touching your second finger, and it may take a little bit more pressure to get that note to ring out, but that's just what you have to do with some chords. So when you think you have that chord, just strum through all the strings, or avoid the sixth string if you can't block it out. If you hear anything that sounds like, let, like that, any buzzing or anything that's muted out, just go through, adjust your fingers, keep adjusting them until you can get all the strings to ring out clearly. And like I said, if you want the chord chart for this. If you want the diagram, just click the link on the screen and you'll get that e-guide for free that you can download for free and it'll be really useful, really helpful to you as a beginner. So that's an A sus4 chord. Mm -hmm. 